Yeah. All my in the club, all I know we pay this. Sir, wanna kill me, cause they bitch, I'm the greatest. I got kids in my crawl, now I ain't running from you haters. Tell me, wait up, now, wait up, now. Be from what it is. Stunning on you, cause they did that, I got rich. I'm in the same shit, you know that they trying to get in that. Sound again, wait up, now. Wait up, now. Well, damn, Corey, I don't think that was a power technic sequence. I think that our ring exploded. And now thinking about it, we're like one of the only companies that still use pyro during the show and throughout the show. Maybe we're the reason the big dogs don't use pyro anymore in their shows. Rightfully so. I'm Big Boy Lastmith, and I am here with my new colleague, Corey Graves, the savior of misbehavior. I'm here while we're wrestling. It's Friday Night Fire.
Like he said, it's the wild with a wrestling man. I'm happy you're here. Give your bro a hug. What's because going I on, man? was getting totally bored being here at this commentating table by myself. Uh -huh. Give me some naps. Uh, uh, uh. Man, Pick up last week, last week. Wild with a wrestling Friday night fire WrestleMania weekend. And it's going down, unveiling a new World Heavyweight Championship belt. In just a moment, Roman's already in the ring. Fatal Four Way Championship match at the last after review, and still the World Heavyweight Champion, Cesaro. Ha <laughs> ha ha, yes, big boy Lastman. It's my first night out here, and not only do I get to see the new World Heavyweight Championship first, up close, and personal, but the first thing, the first impression I get is from the World Heavyweight Champion, Cesaro. Oh man, that's how we do it here in the Wild World Wrestling. Corey Graves. Cesaro has been the World Heavyweight Champion for a good while, a great champion, so we're gonna. Let him know that by crowning him with a brand new World Heavyweight Top. The World Champion Cesaro. The people love him. Now, Cesaro, congratulations on still being the World Heavyweight Champion here in the Wild World Wrestling. But I gotta ask you one question. Oh, what the hell, last minute? Cesaro is interrupted by from what we see, the static, the black and white. We all know who that is, big boy. Oh, uh, Corey, I can't believe it's the end of the As you see, they're down to two members. Sid Vicious and Scott Hall. We all know what happened at the last match pay-per-view. <laughs> hey, yo. What do you mean, hey, yo? Hey, big man. You stand there. You say you're the world heavyweight champion. And really, the real number one contender always was Sid Vicious. And you know Okay, that's cool. I'm glad you guys are confident. If you're the number one contender, I'm the world heavyweight champion, and I'm standing here in the ring if you want it. Let me tell you something, big man. Remind you, I'm the one that broke your neck. I'm the one that took out the giant, and I want my rifle shot at that belt. Hey, like I said, I'm in the ring. Hey, now, Cesaro, ain't nothing like a fighting champion, but I just presented you with a brand new title. I don't think I should make this match right now. Hey, go ahead and do it. Oh man, Corey, are we about to see a World Heavyweight Championship on the very first episode of Friday Night Fire? We see the NWO coming down to the ring, and Cesaro has the belt up in the air. Oh man, wait a minute. Well, Sid Vicious did make a couple of points. Whoa, hold up. That music, I hear it. I'm pretty sure you hear it too, Big Boy last week. Could it be the tag team partner of Cesaro? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. He's on the way to the ring. Take it a break. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Graves, Big Boy Last Smith beside me, and we do have a World Heavyweight Championship match going down here on Friday Night Fire here at WrestleMania weekend. That's right, Roman Reigns in charge, and he made the match. Ha <laughs> ha man, first night on the job, and I'm about to see a 3 w Championship match. Let's get it on the road. Well, I'm pretty sure you're in for a show, Corey Graves. Here we go. So, oh, man, way right off the bat, Sid Vicious is dominating. Cesaro in the corner. Sid Vicious is bigger than Cesaro. Sid Vicious has been wrestling longer than Cesaro, but that means nothing because Cesaro is the world heavyweight champion. Now, one thing I can say about Sid Vicious is sometimes this guy goes through an identity crisis. I mean, one day he's Sid Vicious, then he's Sid Justice, then he's Psycho Sid. I mean, this dude needs to be in a nut house, not in the wild world wrestling, if you ask me. <laughs> which, like, you like what I did there, don't you make one last minute? And Cesaro throws it over the top. <laughs> That's right, Cesaro over the top. And speaking of over the top, the next pay per view is the Retaliation Rumble. 30 minutes over the top to see who's going to Grand Slam 3. Cesaro, Scott Hall, they are taunting each other right now, and everybody is rehabilitating and regrouping. Scott Hall getting some words from Sid, and, excuse me, Sid getting some words from Scott, and on the other hand, Cesaro is getting some words from Shane. Well, big boy last week, right now, so far, so good. Scott Hall and Shane is doing their job and staying on the outside of the ring and letting this be a legit World Heavyweight Championship match to open up the show here Friday Night Fire and shots to the face, and now Sid Vicious, Sid Justice, whatever you want to call him, has Cesaro in the barrel. Sid Vicious representing the NWO, Cesaro and Sheamus, those guys at the bar, one of the greatest tag teams today, and oh, that big knee to the top of the head, Earl Hebner didn't see it, I'm pretty sure if he did, he would have been counted out, but it doesn't matter, because 
the long legs of Sid Vicious, reads the ropes, and Cesaro being the champion that he is, gives a clean break, giving Sid Vicious a chance to get up, gets him from behind, and what we're gonna see here. Now remind you, a lot of people didn't see the last patch pay-per-view. Oh man, don't even let me get on that right now. Oh yeah, man, let me say, a lot of people didn't see the last patch pay-per-view, and we were like, so oh, oh, wait a minute, big backdrop, and it looked like Cesaro landed on the shoulder, Sid Vicious, boom, with a big elbow. This is our and I think we got problems. Yeah, it, it, he did land on that on the shoulder, it looked like, from the from the big backdrop. Sure. But yeah, a lot of people <laughs> didn't see the last half pay-per-view. It's not because they didn't tune in. Oh, trust me, tons of people tuned in. We're gonna address that. And every time I think about it, it makes me upset. And, oh man, yeah, we, we stopped right there. You see Cesaro landed dead on that shoulder. Yeah, big boy last week. He landed dead on that shoulder. Seems like Scott Hall is giving Sid Vicious a word of advice. Wait a minute, what's going on here? It looks like Scott Hall is leaving the ring. What's going on, big boy? I don't know what's going on, Corey Graves, but I'm pretty sure Scott Hall ain't had no change of heart and wants to leave the ring because now it seems like Cesaro has a handicap with that shoulder being now. And with Sid Vicious being the vicious guy that he is, going to target the shoulder. And there you see, Seamus checking on his partner, rightfully so. Sid, oh, Sid Vicious is targeting the shoulder. Now is attacked right here in the ring. And it's perfectly legal. This is the World Heavyweight Championship. And oh, man, it, it's not looking so good for Cesaro right now. Cool. There you see Sid Vicious pointing at the brand new World Heavyweight Championship strap. Big boy last night. Wait a minute. Seamus. Seamus with the counts on the boundary to the one and only. Sid Vicious. Wait a minute. Sid Vicious, look at here. Up. Wait a minute. Got action in the corner. It's Randy Orton. Randy Orton with an RKO. What the heck? Oh, oh, man, punch to the face. What's going on here? Up on the range, but what? Oh, man. Send the block to the back of Seamus. That's what Scott Hall went to the back to get, big boy. Scott Hall went to the back to get a cinder block. Remnants of WrestleMania 18. Well, the build up to WrestleMania 18 with Stone Cold Steve Austin and an RKO. Well, what the hell is going on? We know that Red Newton is upset that he lost the four way match. You don't see Jericho and you don't see Psycho. Not Psycho, but oh, hey, boy, I understand the excitement in the first round, but right now, looks like we got what? a giant name power what the hell? we do. Wait a minute, one. 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 Two. Wait a minute, can't no. Be. no. What, what the hell? Psych. I can't believe Sid Vicious is the world heavyweight champion here in the 3W. Are you motherfucking kidding me? Oh, calm You're down. Right now. Calm down. You're just, you are dead. Calm down. Man, what in the motherfucking is this? Big boy last week is upset. Randy Orton has an RKO NWO style shirt. I understand you're upset, man. Calm down. All this going on. <laughs> Oh man, this is just awful. This is all full. I Radio. understand you're upset, big boy. Just calm you down. Serious. Just calm down. I'm gonna go inside the ring to check on Cesaro. All right, Corey Graves goes inside the ring to check on Cesaro, and I'm mad at a mother. For one, this wasn't even supposed to be a match, and two, since this is like 100 years old. This is the wild one wrestling. It's a brand new day, and we got an old ass world. Brand new. What the hell, dude? Are you kidding me? The NWO. And Randy Orton's back in the ring. My new colleague, Corey. Oh, Corey tried to get Randy Orton off with Cesaro, and it didn't work. What the heck? Man, you know what? Uh. 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 It's off. Commercial break, man. I'm hustling trying to get out of the city, and you trying to hustle to get to me. I got plans. I can't get it on in Whitey's jungle. And when I get it together my way, I'm going back home to clean air and open space and doing my thing. She machine. Ghost. Oh my God, Corey! I remember when I traded the Wild One from eight dozen ago. years ago, and ever since day one, somebody or something always has to win the show. Whether it's pay per view, three W, or six W, and something always goes wrong. You know what, Corey? You can have it. I quit. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What? Big boy, you can't quit your own show. Oh man, I gotta go find him, man. All I gotta say is the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, is back in the house.
I know I'm probably a little early dressed for the Hall of Fame, but I gotta address that little punk in the back, Tyler Breeze. Who wants to be APK? You couldn't beat me on your best day, kid. Sean Michaels, the Prince of Pretty, doesn't have to be HBK. Because HBK, you are what you are, and that is an ugly one. Hold on, kid. Who are you calling an ugly? The man that's in front of me, this old statue of a wrestler. If I'm a statue, kid, it's a statue of greatness, while you stand there as a statue of stupidity. No, I am the statue of what a wild wrestling champion will soon look like in the future. I seen a statue of your girlfriend who was like, Val, he was just tapping that ass. Speaking of tapping that ass, Sean, I haven't seen her since the last time I you. I was wondering if maybe either one of you two have seen my lady. Ain't nobody looking for that skate. We all know that Big Boy Lastman walks down a whole different type of avenues in life. With that being said, YouTube ain't the only place you can find me. There's Patreon, there's Instagram posting daily, we got Facebook sending me a message, and we got Twitter. But whatever you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and ring the bell to stay notified. <laughs>
I can't get it on in Whitey's jungle. And when I get it together my way, I'm going back home to clean air and open spaces and doing my thing. Machine. Ghost. podcast where we dive into some of the realest and deepest topics going on right now and today we have a very special guest for you all one of the hottest rap artists out there Najee thanks for being with us man your music has inspired so many people around the world let's show the audience one of your newest hit songs Wow. <laughs> yeah. What would you say the message is behind that song? Each song, I got unanimity. I got a uh, 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 love, compassion. I got all that up in there. Well, I feel that. And I'm so inspired right now. I'm sure everyone else is who's listening. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Graves here, Big Boy Last Week. Man, are you okay now, man? Hey, yo, we're back, we're live. Sorry you had to hear a whole match of your... Hey, look, look, Corey. The only reason I came back is because Goldberg was in the ring sounding like a damn dinosaur with some uh, and ah, uh, and all that stuff. Anywho, look, let me tell you, my first race was here. I'm the wild world wrestling. Something always goes wrong. Whether it's Vince or the NWO. I mean, come on, man. This look like 1997. In 1997, I was eight years old, man. You know what I'm saying? This is a new day, new dawn. Wild world wrestling, Cesaro, Shane, people like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, I try to upload last night's hit review. You two, you're getting on my nerves, man. The song, I've been using this song for years. And you want to hit me with a copyright strike? And people over in Germany, Japan, on the sea, messing with me on Instagram, talking about they can't see it. And I go to try to remove the song, and you won't let me? Are you kidding me, man? I've been on YouTube for 10 years. Yo, yo, ugh. I am so frustrated with the wild wrestling, YouTube, all this stuff, man. Let's just go on to the... Let's just keep rolling because I'm pretty sure the Undertaker and Sting are upset because the people that couldn't see, not didn't want to see, that couldn't see, we saw the end of Last Night Peer Review, but the YouTubers didn't because somebody was in the control room messing with the control. I already called Vince and it wasn't him. So who the hell cut the, the Last Night Peer Review short? Ah, ugh. Oh my, as everyone can see, frustrations are running wild here in the wide world of wrestling. And rightfully so, because the people that did view the last match of you did not get to see the conclusion to that match. Why? Because someone was messing with the control, and the stinger wants an answer. Who want to know who was behind the control in the last match? Hey, hey. Well, last miss, upset, Sting's upset, and we're pretty sure the Undertaker's upset. Big boy, yeah, here comes Undertaker right now, and I'm pretty sure he wants an answer. Now, I already called him Vince, I called him Shane. Like, look, man, I thought we said our differences, and Vince was like an extravagant Vince voice. He said it wasn't him, and I believe him, because Vince was on his anniversary with Linda that day. I was at the show. I mean, what the hell, man? I was at the anniversary dinner with Vince and Linda, so I know that it wasn't him. I know it wasn't no one. Because of the people that were able to 
the few people that were able to tune in to the pay per view without any restrictions. I mean, come on, look, and then I'm upset on that. I mean, look, we use, come on, man, we used the song that was our opening theme for the show for like three years up until that point. And because they wanted to nitpick and find two homeless, half of the world can even watch it. I mean, literally, I'm on Instagram. People are like, hey, yo, what's up with all of man? I can't check it out. I'm trying to watch it. It's blocked in our country. And I try to move this song. Hold on. Forget that, man. Undertaker's on this week. Sting, me and you, we have differences. But let's just call it even. I think me and you need to put our forces together and find out who's champion with our matches. Wait a minute. What's happening here? Sting and the Undertaker just say, hey. I don't know if he's Wait a minute, Cody oh, Rhodes is here. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, hold on, wait a minute. Are we about to get some answers? I don't know, big boy, but Cody Rhodes is out here, and I'm excited to see Cody. Have to see him in the world. Well, what do you know? All lies are on the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You guys want to know? You guys really want to know who won the show at the last match pay-per-view? It was me. What? Cody Rhodes and the Bullet Club. What? I'll tell you why. We ruined the show. Cody Rhodes just admitted he ruined the show. Oh, please tell me, Cody. Please tell me. Oh, Steve, it's simple because there's more to wrestling today in 2019 than Sting, Undertaker, and Bret Hart, and so and so and so. We got New Japan, we got Ring of Honor, we got this new upstart called AEW with wrestlers, quote unquote, and we are about to tear the house down, my friend. Cody, it's time for you to rest in peace. Oh my God, Undertaker, you've died so many times, but trust me, this will be the last time you will quote unquote rest in peace because when I'm done with you, when we are done with you, you will really rest in peace for good, at least in the wrestling world. Hold on, wait, 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 something's going on what in the, the ring. What the hell is going wait, wait on? Wait a minute, look, what, what? Young Buck, it's the Young Buck. Young Buck, it's the Kid, 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 and good night. Sardas ruined the match between Kane and Goldberg. Excuse me, Cody. Yo, yeah, what the hell, I'm big boy? Oh, <laughs> oh Brent, I swear, man. Yo, I swear I'm a good guy. I swear I'm a good guy. But I see why my dad wouldn't let me get a pair of these when I was young, bro. Because the vision in these glasses suck, man. They do. And you marketed these for 10 bucks? <laughs> Whatever, man. Cody's in the ring. What the Bunch hell is going on? AEW. 